So this is the Bug Whipper 5000 version one. I'm sure lots of improvements could be made, but it is from an old broken fan from my kid's room and a desk lamp that I took apart. I grabbed the receptacle out of it and basically wired it into the fan power. Uh, and this is Weed Eater line. So you can hang this over a fish pond, a large fish tank, uh, and whip the bugs into it to provide free food. You can also just use it as an alternative to a bug zapper or other insect control device. But this took about 30 minutes and pretty effective tool. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to put it together. We're gonna start here by removing the fan blades. Uh, one of them was already graciously broken off by one of my kids. So they drop it on the floor over and over again. Um, I'm using a Ryobi Dremel tool here. I'm sure there's many other ways to do it, but just get the fan blades off. I like the Dremel tools because you can change the attachment and kind of smooth out the rough edges with it. I'll put a list of supplies that would be useful for this in the description, but just basically get those fan blades off. Then what we're gonna do is drill three holes into the receptacle that held the fan blades. These holes are going to accommodate the weed eater line. Now what we're going to do is tie a knot on the end of the weed eater line and shove it through one of the holes you just drilled. And we'll need to do this for all three lines. And the knot's just going to hold the line in there. There we go. I'll save you the time of seeing me tie two more knots on weed eater line. We've got all three here and we'll just attach it back on to the fan motor. Now let's do a test run and see if this thing works. This is the Bug Whipper. All right, success. Now we need to get our light receptacle for our bug attractor. This is an old lamp that sat in our garage for I don't know how many years, no one's ever used it, so I took it apart. And most lamps, just find the screws and find the nuts and bolts and take them all off and you can get that receptacle. This one fortunately had a mounting screw on it that I could just uh, screw right down into the plastic. So that's what I'm doing here. You could do any number of things. You could zip tie it. Depending on the receptacle, you could even gorilla glue it down just so you can put a light on there. So now we need to get some power to this. So what we're gonna do is take the two lines from the light and the two lines from the fan power cable and wire them together. And we'll give it a quick test run here and see if it works. Yep, we got light. Let's see if the fan works. And yes, we have power. Be sure it's unplugged. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape up each of these connections with electrical tape. I'm sure there's some other really good YouTube video that explains exactly how to use electrical tape. I'm not an electrician, I don't claim to be, but I can make stuff work. If you have any tips and comments, feel free to give them to me. You can just tape up each connection, and then what we're gonna do is tape the entire thing. And this will keep them well protected, especially if this thing's gonna be outside. You could also use wire nuts or something like that, but. Now with both lines taped up, we'll run tape all around the entire cable. Now let's give it a final test run here. Light, let's see if the switch works. And we have our bug whipper. Now I need to go out and install it over the fish tank so it can also serve as an automatic fish feeder. One big cycle. And here it is installed, the Bug Whipper 5000, generation 1.0.
And this is hopefully going to attract bugs and feed our catfish at night. Now enjoy these sweet, sweet sounds in my attempt at AI art with cartoon characters killing bugs. Adios. Like and subscribe.